Hey, welcome back my peeps. Got another tutorial for you guys. And I think you're going to like this one. Who want to make some eclairs? <laughs> Don't this look so real? Like, this part looks so real. Right? So there you go. So we're going to make some of those. So, I'm going to use Model Light for this. Because it's easy to shape. And um, I just happen to have some. And I want to use it up. I'm going to be using Model Light in a couple of, of upcoming tutorials. See this Model Light? I had it for a while. Like I bought it like last year. So it's not as gooey and as sticky as it usually is. And I, this is how I like it, like this. Not where you touch it and it sticks to your hands and it causes a mess. And But anyways, with, some people let it, like, they put it in there and then they, they leave the lid off a little bit like that. Just to get some of that moisture up. If you ever got Model Magic and you sometimes condensation gets on the bottom. Because this is like, this dough is really, really wet. Like, it's a real moist. But the thing about it is that it's very lightweight, too. Model Magic is a little bit heavier than this. This is very, like, lightweight. And it looks so delicious. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, so, you're going to get you just enough to roll you out your eclair. So, you still got to... You know, make sure you um, condition it and all that good stuff. Did you see this in the last video? Don't it look so good? Make sure you check that out. Anyways, you're going to roll out your... You're going to roll it into a ball first because we want to get all those wrinkles out. You know, make sure you get all the wrinkles out. Then you roll it into a log. Now you make these eclairs as big and as small as you want, okay? You're going to round the edges a little bit. You know, make sure you round the... And you're going to smash it down a little bit because eclairs are not like... You want some shape, a shape like this. Okay? So you're going to take this. Now, you're going to let it dry, you know, overnight until it firms up a little bit because right now you... If you try to do anything to it, it's just going to lose its shape. So, we're going to let that sit. And now, you know I have some over here already made. I have this one. And then I have these two, which I made like a little hole in it. Because I'm going to put um, some custard and those. But first, let's paint. And I'm going to show you how I painted it so it can look like this. Okay? So, I got antique parchment you can use antique white or any other off-white color for this uh, for the middle part so i'm just gonna take some you don't need a lot like just a little bit dab or... and i'm gonna start with that part first because i'm gonna go right in here and you're just gonna go you're just going to go like right in the middle of your eclair. You don't need a lot. You really can't see it right now, but it's going to show up in a minute. Once you put your next color, you just want to make sure you have the middle part going. Okay. So then, right, you can't, you can see it right there. Right. So then you're going to go and get your classic caramel and you're going to paint the rest you can use the same brush if you want to or a different brush that's totally up to you but it doesn't matter so you're going to just go you're not even going to do a, a, a like a thick coat or anything you're just going to do like a very light coating
But make sure you don't cover up that whole middle part that you just, you know, you just painted. Because that's going to be the part that's going to make it look like a real baked eclair. And you go on top and you paint the rest. Basically, you're just gonna like do a dry brush. It's just something about dry brush and it makes it look more like realistic, you know? I'm gonna do the bottom too. But well, that's not necessary, but let's give it a complete look. So you see, you got your eclair. If you feel like, oh, I took too much paint. If you feel like it needs a little bit more paint on the other side or whatever, go for it. Okay. And there you go. So then you can let this dry. See, that's this side. And your clay on this side is a little thick on this side, right? Let's, let, let me... Let me do a little touch up because it's a little bit thick on this side too. So I'm going to come over here. So that's it right there. That's how you're going to uh, paint it. So it looks like a really clear. You don't want to overdo it. You know, I think I need a little bit of color. You know, you paint it to what you think looks real to you and I think this is good so now the next part is you're gonna put you're gonna put this part on it the glaze the frosting so basically what this is is the drip that we always use the same drip we use for that the same drip we use for Dipping pretzels, the same, it's the same thing. Cork, paint, and Mod Podge, just a little bit. So what you're going to do, you're just going to come on top right here. Let me move this out the way. Put this clear over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Now try not to get it so that it runs over the side. We don't, that's not what we want. We just want to get it on top. Okay. Oh. That's because that happened to me because the paint is wet and it's stuck to my fingers. So I suggest you just let this dry and move on to the next step. But because I'm making this video for you guys, you know what? I'm just holding it in my hand because it's trying to be a pain in my butt right now. I mean, you can bring it to the edge, but you got to like, it can't be runny. You got to kind of like paint it on. Okay. See, I made it run over here. Just take you some more. Until you get that. To look how you want it to look. And I think this is good. See that? Got your eclair. Now I'm gonna put this down so it can dry. And we're gonna do another one. Cause I wanna put some custard in this one. So we're gonna do the same thing we did. I think I need another brush though, because I don't wanna mix this these colors. Ugh. What in the world? Get your antique parchment or any off-white color. And you want again, you're gonna go in the middle and just brush it. You just want to give that, you know how those eclairs have that look in the middle? That's where the part when you bake it, it's it expands. You don't have to be perfect with this because you're gonna paint over it anyway. So just well, I don't think I need this side, but all right, then we're going to go in with our classic caramel. 
and we just gonna paint. Pretty easy. This is this is pretty easy. Whoop. <laughs> this probably be one of the easier crafts that you I mean fake bakes that you make. Need to get some more paint. See that? Let me get a little bit more paint. A little bit more paint. It's always a lot of paint. You know how you just want that little drop? It never happens. Okay, I put too much paint. Be careful with the paint. I didn't even like take any of it off. I just went straight. Just, you know, spread it out. Y'all know, y'all get the point, right? I'm just going to paint the bottom and I'm going to put the cut first. Well, I don't know. How I'm, I'm going to put the custard first and then I'm going to put the chocolate drizzle. Not the chocolate drizzle, but that part. I got to make sure I cover this good because it's the opening. All right. See that? Another another eclair so I make what <laughs> I'm like what happened I got a sandwich bag here and I made um like a custard looking color it's this was made with antique uh parchment um and one little drop of yellow paint only because the antique white, the antique um, parchment was kind of not really yellowy, you know. So, I um, just added like a little drop of yellow. You can make it, custard comes, like there's a light custard and then there's that bright yellow custard. So I'm not, I don't think I need a lot. I think that's good. Like when you eat a, a dessert, you know what I'm talking about? Sometimes the, the custard kind of even looks like, um, it looks like pudding. You know what I mean? Like the color of pudding. And then sometimes it looks like a, a cream, like a cream color. Like this color that I'm doing here now and um, just cut a tiny tiny hole so you can be in control of the I don't know I think I need a little bit more color on this one Ugh. just a little bit thick know if I did much anything there but so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna fill up my my eclair with some custard right but I'm gonna let this I need a toothpick just so I could so I could let it sit you know, it got to stay like this. It got to sit up like this. Because we don't want that um, custard to fall off. Fall off. To run down. And then I'm going to do that part. And it's going to look like this. But with uh, frosting. So I'm going to leave that to the side. I did not make a... Uh, see, it's already starting to... Like 
drip down. And I don't, that's not what I want. So I'm going to put it in this little mug I have here. And I'm going to prop it up so it won't move until it dries. And I could put the second part up there. So if, if you're going to do it with, oh, come on. If you're going to do some custard, make sure you leave it standing up so that it won't drizzle down, okay? And then when it's done, when this dries, like tomorrow or whatever, you do this part, like how we did that one, and you got your delicious looking... And then you can put it on your board with a little cup of, if I had this mug right here, with a little mug of coffee or something. But, yeah, guys, so there you go. We got some eclairs going now. And it's pretty easy. It's not anything hard. If you don't have Model Light, you can use Model Magic. You can use whatever air dry clay you have. It doesn't it doesn't have to be that. But since I have the model light, I used it because um like I said I bought it last year and I'm trying to use it up. I even have some Crayola uh is it Crayola? Crayola. No, not Crayola. Um I forgot what it's called. Yeah, it is Crayola. The 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 air air dry clay, not the foam clay, just the regular air dry clay. I need I have some of that I gotta get rid of because I had it for a while and I don't really care for it, but it's perfect for making cookies. So we're gonna make us some cookies. But guys, don't that clear look real though? Seriously. Don't you just wanna eat it, take a bite out of it? Anyway, guys, that's another quick I mean, this is probably going to be one of the easier fake bakes you make. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay. So anyway, guys, until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep crafting no matter what anybody says. And if somebody tells you, girl, you craft too much, you don't go out, you don't do this. You listen, you do what makes you happy. You can't make the world happy. You can only make yourself happy. And you just got to do what you got to do for you. All right, boo? Talk to you later. God bless you guys. Bye.